What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having an awesome time out there. As you can see, we got frostbite right here and we are about to go to work on it. We're gonna install a new modification. We are finally gonna ditch trash can, get rid of the factory bumper. This is a big old frozen chunk of poopy. I've been meaning to do this guys for a long long time and uh, I just keep putting it off because I got other things to do finally we're gonna get rid of it though um, as you guys know I don't run the exhaust back here anymore anyways so it's really been bothering me to have the exhaust cutouts in the bumper when there's no exhaust coming back here so we're ditching the bumper and we are gonna be installing a solid steel roll pan from Street and Show um, the link to this roll pan will be in the video description below, so check it out. It's a solid roll pan. There's been a few guys put them on already, and I think they look really good, plus they're steel. Um, you know, I was looking at some of the polymer or the plastic roll pans, and don't get me wrong, the plastic ones look pretty good, but I'm kind of more of a fan of having some metal on the truck. So we went with the steel roll pan from Street & Show. They're about 260 bucks, so you really can't beat the money, and they look good. Um, plus, it's gonna it's gonna save us some weight because we will finally be able to get rid of the rest of the factory hitch underneath the truck. And uh, plus, the factory bumper does weigh a lot more than the roll pan we're about to put on. But let me go get this roll pan real quick. But here's the roll pan, guys. This is the the Street and Show roll pan. I've already got it painted white, as you can see. Um, it's in the bubble wrap. I'm not going to unwrap it yet, but we will get it on the truck and we will show you what we got to do to mount this thing on and give you a final installation appearance on the truck. It's going to look pretty damn good. I'm stoked about it. They give you the hardware and everything to put it on. Also, they give you the lighting, the, the light for the license plate and the hardware. Um, pretty much a bolt on deal. So we're going to get this old bumper off and get the new Street & Show roll pan installed on the truck. All right guys, so we are under the truck and to remove the stock bumper assembly, there's two bolts up here, one there, one up here. And then my son is over here taking the rest of it off. Sorry for all the jiggling here. Uh, you have up here you got two bolts on the bottom as well try to bring you guys over here i'll right, show them to you a little better there you go there's one there and one there and as you guys can see a long time ago i've actually cut most of my towing hitch off of this factory bumper um, if you're not aware you will be aware now that in order to mount the factory bumper up the factory hitch and bumper is kind of an assembly you got to have the hitch mounting here to be able to mount the actual bumper it's kind of a pain in the butt um, so that's why I cut most of all the weight off of the bumper that I could and still be able to have the factory bumper on until uh, we finally got rid of this thing so I'm happy we'll be able to get rid of all this stuff all this extra metal that's pretty heavy on both sides and uh, we'll just have a nice clean flat steel roll pan back here from Street and Show but uh, we're gonna finish removing these brackets here and getting this bumper off I'm right, Mopar fan we have the new roll pan installed and I'm definitely liking it. It uh, fits pretty good. We only had to do a couple little bends and tweaks here and there and I'll show you where I did some of the adjusting. Um, but all in all, the roll pan fit very good and very easy to put on, not difficult at all. So I'm gonna get the camera, I'm gonna take you around the truck, let you see it a little bit better and then I'm gonna get underneath and show you what we had to do also for the license plate light to be able to wire it up, we had to lengthen the wires, and I'll show you how we did all that. 
All right, so this is passenger side. And we got it fit up pretty good. This is going all the way around the truck here. Roll pan fits pretty nice. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple spots here that I had to tweak a little bit and I'm gonna have to get some touch up paint because I did end up dinging it a little bit as I was kind of rushing it, not really taking my time like I should have, but that's just how I roll. But anyway, so right here on the corners here, the pan is very close. I'm gonna take you over here to the passenger side. The pan is very close to the actual truck. Um, so what I did is when I had, when we mounted everything up, I took my, uh, one of my pry bars and if you see my finger here, what I did is I took my pry bar and I laid the back of it against this, the uh, bed mount, the tailgate mount right here, laid it down here and I put it in here on the back of the pan, right here on the back of the edge where it's close to the, uh, underneath the tail light here. And what I did is I just pried out on the bumper a little bit, or on the roll pan, excuse me. And that tweaked it a little bit to get some clearance right here. And it fits good, it doesn't rub. It doesn't rub anymore. Um, but I will need to touch up paint behind it just a little bit where I dinged it, um, putting it on. Now your other option, uh, somebody else that installed this same pan, what he did is they ground down the back of the pan itself on the lip back here that will also work um, and it may vary from truck to truck but the pans very close to the truck right here so you're either going to need to do what I did is just kind of bend it out a little bit tweak it some or grind the back of the pan a little bit and then I like I said the same thing over here on this side You'll need to do it as, as well over there if it's very close on your truck like it was mine. Other than that, the hardware they supply you with, uh, you have to drill um, five holes into the back of the truck where these the pan's already got uh, slots for the screws, but you will have to drill holes in the back of the truck. So it kind of takes two people. You'll need to hold the bumper or you'll have to hold the roll pan up Mark all your holes with a marker and then drill out the uh, the holes to accept the screws. And I'll show you the drill bit size that I used real quick, uh, which worked very good for the screws they supplied. And it's just a regular drill bit, 1164 drill bit. And that size worked perfect for the Phillips head screws that they supplied in the kit and all you got to do like I said you're going to drill a hole through it the hole is a little smaller than the screw obviously so when you start threading in this big Phillips head screw it's going to tighten up against the truck metal right here on the back of the bed so you don't have to put a nut or anything on the back now if you don't want to use these screws you could use your own you can put bolts and nuts in it if you want to but um, if you drill the hole the correct size, these Phillips head screws tightened up very, very tight. Um, I, I Honestly, I tighten the crap out of them and they are holding very good. Now, on the bottom side of the truck. Now, this is on the bottom side of the truck, guys. This is the passenger side over here. On the bottom of the roll pan, they have a metal tab that is uh, welded onto the bottom of the roll pan, which has a hole in it for a screw. And then you will need to drill into the bottom right here the bottom right corner of the uh, the bed more or less the bed fender or whatever um, you'll drill a hole right there to attach one of the Phillips head screws that they supply to hold the bottom of the roll pan on and this also helps stabilize the corner um, which is very nice on some of the plastic roll pans, I've noticed that a lot of people are having to put uh, 3M or double-sided tape on the outside 
um, behind the roll pan to be able to hold this corner in um, and sometimes those pop loose and it's just kind of a pain I do like this idea where there's actually a screw here to hold this so this corner of the roll pan will stay pretty tight and shouldn't be an issue and then it's the, it's the same thing on the driver side so as you can see same thing uh, a little tab here on the roll pan for another Phillips head screw and then obviously we've had to drill another hole down here to accept the roll pan screw mount or the mount screw right here and then that's all there is as far as attaching the roll pan that's how it's held on to the truck pretty simple uh, not a big deal at all and then for the lighting now all right now we're underneath the metal of the pan here um, they supply you with an LED light mount that will attach on the other side of the pan with two Phillips head screws. Um, the wiring that's, that comes off that light is not very long. And then, as I said, I had to lengthen it. So we attached it to the factory connector here. Um, I just cut off the factory connector where it used to plug into the, the old bumper light and we wired in the LED light that they supply you with. And I can kind of show you, so on the factory bumper, as you know, you have two plugs for two lights on either side of the license plate. Well, this one is the other one that I just got zip tied up here, um, but more or less, it's just like the other side, except for I cut that connector off so that we can wire. We just use the wiring coming out of the factory harness to wire in the new LED light for the license plate and that's it that's all we had to do for the wiring side of it pretty straightforward and then as well they supply you with two plastic uh, little square mounts to pop into the roll pan to attach your license plate as well but pretty straightforward like I said um, obviously I don't ever run the tailgate I don't believe it's going to be an issue at all with the tailgate on. There should be plenty of clearance here. Um, like I said, there's another guy where actually I found uh, this roll pan. He has it on his truck and he's running his tailgate without an issue at all. Um, he did have to do some of the same things I did here, making some extra room where it comes real close to the bed at these little corners right here. But other than that, it looks pretty dang good. I like it, guys fits good like I said this is a solid steel pan and uh, definitely like the new look uh, makes frostbite look you know not so uh, I guess the way, best way to put it not so uh, <laughs> like it's ready to tow something down the road anymore um, looks a little more sleek and definitely lighter now uh, the factory bumper is pretty heavy especially if you have all of your hitch your factory hitch still on this is the factory bumper um, and as you can see this is what's left of my old towing hitch you know there's a big tube here where the hitch would come out which I've already cut all of that off a long time ago um, as this truck does not tow anything at all anymore that's why we got the big Cummins diesel now but you have to keep all of your hitch brackets to be able to mount the factory bumper. You cannot just remove the bumper very easily um, unless you want to take the whole thing completely off. There's no way to get rid of the hitch and just run your stock bumper. It's kind of a pain in the butt how the system works. You have to have the hitch brackets to be able to mount the bumper, so it kind of sucks. Um, but you can imagine how heavy this is. Obviously, the, the stock bumper is steel, is, is steel also, and then your your towing hitch is super thick metal um, very heavy and uh, definitely we shaved off some weight getting rid of this thing for the new pan definitely pretty cool but there it is guys 
sun's pretty bright out here right now, so I'm hoping the camera's picking it up pretty good. Other thing I want to mention, these are all the factory bolts that held on the old bumper and hitch assembly. Um, and if I remember right, these were 21 millimeter bolts. Uh, so you'll need a 21 millimeter ratchet and socket um, or a wrench. I ended up needing both of them, but just a heads up, there you go. Looks like you got, uh, what is it, two, four, six, eight bolts. So there's eight bolts you gotta remove to get the complete assembly off the truck if you're running the factory bumper on your ram so heck yeah guys there it is the new street and show roll pan like i said the link is in the description below it'll take you to the ebay store it'll take you right to the link to buy it uh, my opinion i love it it fits very good very very minor modification needed to get it to fit right um, other than that, simple installation and only 260 bucks. So it's hard to beat that for a steel roll pan. It's not plastic or ABS. This is a solid steel, solid steel pan, as you can hear. And uh, it's super light. That thing doesn't weigh hardly anything. Definitely lighter than the old bumper for sure. And it looks badass. So other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope the video helps you out. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.